Hi, it's Mike Thornton. I'm down here at IBC 2018 in Amsterdam, and I'm with Freddie from New Gen Audio. Hi, Mike. And we're going to take a sneak peek at the new version, not yet released, but the new version of VizLM, which has the new Netflix features. That's right. So um, this that we've the the three uh, products that we've got on the screen here are the um, the three elements of the Loudness Toolkit 2.8 which is due to be released later this year. So this is um, VizLM, ISL, and LM Correct. Um, VizLM is our loudness meter, um, and one of the major updates that we're including in the Loudness Toolkit 2.8 is that we do now have these Netflix presets. So we've got the Netflix Stereo and Netflix 5.1. That gives us these new loudness parameters, um, which um, you weren't able to, to measure before, which is the integrated dialogue loudness and the um, dialogue LRA. So um, those are both included within the Netflix recommendation. Um, and yeah, this is now specifically a Netflix preset designed, designed to measure that. And you've actually been able to uh, not have to be a bit vague about the, the name of the Netflix presets. You've actually got permission to use the the name that's right so we've spoken with netflix we've we've worked quite closely with them in terms of developing these presets um i understand that it is kind of a at the moment the sort of recommended meter um so yeah we have thankfully had the, had the permission to actually use netflix within the name of the preset not had to give it some sort of clever pseudonym or anything like that um we have also introduced this possibility that you can access kind of all the other parameters at once. So previously, you'd have your preset um, and you'd have whichever kind of loudness parameters were included with that by default. We now give you the sort of option via these tick boxes to sort of monitor really as, as much as you want at any given time. Um, it can kind of get quite busy with all, all these sort of uh, different measurements going on. But the, the basic thing is we, we try to keep the presets sort of as, as so the presets possible. really sort of simplify and, and give you a good starter for 10 for, for, for what you think we're going to need for, with that preset. But then we've now got the option of being able to add any of the elements so we can actually look at dialogue uh, loudness, the dialogue LRA, as well as full LRA and integrated loudness. That's it, exactly. So, you know, if, 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 you, if you're working on a program that you're kind of mixing for various different platforms, it means that you can now kind of monitor different parameters that are, are there for sort of different specifications all at the same time. Um, the way that these work is that it um, measures the dialogue using the, the Dolby dialogue um, algorithm. Um, if your um, program has less than 15% dialogue, then there is a slightly different specification from Netflix. But once this goes above 15%, which at the moment it's only on 6%, but once it goes above 15, you'll be able to, um, you essentially hover over that and it shows you the percentage you can, you can yeah, uh, monitor that there. The other major updates that we're including with the Loudness Toolkit 2.8 are, um, first of all, the update to our LEQM, presets. So that's the LEQM for the Sauer and LEQM for Tassa. Um, so those are the presets for cinema adverts and trailers, yeah? Yes, yeah, so the, um, I, t to be totally honest with you, I'm terrible with, with acronyms sometimes, but the <laughs> Sauer is for the, um, that's for adverts for feature films and the Tassa is for the trailers before a feature film. We've improved our algorithm for that so it more closely matches the curve from the Dolby hardware meter. The other kind of final major update that we've included is the um, the channel count. We're expanding the, the full loudness toolkit to accommodate 712 audio. So previously it just went up to 71. Unfortunately, I'm not able to dem demonstrate that on VizLM at the moment because it is, as, as we say, a sneak peek and these aren't quite the public versions. But you can see here that we've got um, this 712 metering on ISL. So that's ISL, same as ever, still the same true peak limiting, um, still works in exactly the same way, but we've now got, as you can see here, this um, c crazy number, number of channels. LM Correct in the same way is also um, 
going to expand to accommodate uh, that, that number of channels, although it is ad- admittedly slightly less exciting to look at. But yeah, so that's that's the kind of the main main updates we've got going on. Are the yeah, like I say, the Netflix preset, the um, LEQM changes, and the seven one two channel count that we're moving up to. Okay, well that's Great. really helpful. Thank you very much indeed for taking the time to show us a sneak peek of Fizzle M and uh, obviously the whole new uh, loudness toolkit with full support for uh, up to seven point one point two, the Netflix presets and look forward to playing it very soon.